Okay, I really just want to cover one term in this video, but I kind of also saw a nice opportunity to just rehash a lot of things we've been talking about because, let's, let's be honest, this has been very technical, really jargon heavy, right? A lot of organic chemistry terms thrown over here, thrown over there, thrown down there. So I just want to make sure we're on the same page because I'm, it's easier for me to just kind of use those than kind of really use the long, non-lay person explanations, right? Okay. So, real quick, I'm going to draw just the Fisher projection, right, of D-glucose. Okay? So, remember, it looks like this, OH on the right, OH on the left, OH on the right, right. So, remember, this arrangement is what makes glucose glucose. However, the D signifies, right, and I know I've said this a billion times, but I just want to make sure you guys really have this down at heart. At this carbon right here, the last stereo center kind of going away from the aldehyde, it is on the right hand side, right? That is what gives D glucose its D designation. Remember, I also said if you have your sugar with the aldehyde up top and the alcohol on the bottom, what that means we can do is we can go right down the line and say, okay, this is a stereo center, right? OH is on the right hand side, R. OH is on the left, S. OH is on the right, R, R. Remember, this is not a stereo center because it's sp2 hybridized, because he's double bonded to oxygen, right? Just to rehash some of the important characteristics of what we've been dealing with. Remember that this carbon is not a stereo center because he's bonded to two hydrogens. He's not bonded to four different things. Okay. Whew, sorry if that was a little fast. Now, just as a quick refresher before I get to the point I want to make. Remember, if this is D-glucose, remember we also have L-glucose. And remember exactly what L-glucose is. L-glucose is the enantiomer of D-glucose. So if I draw my Fisher projection again, right? four lines, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Everything's going to be opposite. OH on the left, OH on the right, OH on the left, OH on the left. And remember, in addition to everything being opposite, instead of this bottom OH being on the right for D-glucose, for L-glucose, remember, no, which is on the left, okay? So a concept I want to kind of introduce to you guys is what is called an epimer. Okay, so this is more in my experiences with epimers, at least in my class. It was just something you had to know. Uh, you might be asked to draw an epimer of, you know, galactose, right? Maybe just the question is draw the epimer of a carb uh, given carbohydrate. So... What I'm going to do, an epimer is a carbohydrate, so it's a, it's a pair, right? It's two carbohydrates compared. So if I wanted to draw an epimer of D-glucose, let's just forget L-glucose for a second, all it is is uh, a carbohydrate that differs in stereochemistry at one stereo center. So let me just kind of give you an example. Let's just say I still want to keep my D aspect of this. Let's say I flip one, two, one, two, three, four. Let's say I flip the stereochemistry at carbon number four. I put the OH on this side. So OH now is on the left, right? I switch this guy. I changed one OH. I changed one stereo center by doing a single switch, right? Because now this is R, S, S, R, right? By just differing these two, this pair of molecules by one stereo center, I would say that this molecule right here is an epimer of D-glucose. You see how that works? So I kind of wanted to contrast it with D and L. L is everything is opposite, and you have the OH on the left-hand side. The only thing you need for an epimer is to differ at one stereo center, right? You can differ this one, you can differ this one, you can differ this one, you can differ this one. I just happen to pick carbon four. 
So if we kind of want to use this terminology, if we kind of want to build on it, right? I said these two are enantiomers, right? They're complete mirror images. Stereo stereochemistry is 100% opposite, right? Because we said S R S S. Well, if we look at this guy here, right? We said compared to these two, right? These are enantiomers. What can we label these two as? R S S R. Since they only differ at one stereo center, this pair, I hope you guys remember this, we would call these diastereomers, right? So you, you can almost think of just, right, an epimer is a diastereomer of a given sugar, but they only differ at one stereo center.